Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In the Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives. In this series, I will be going through every single arc map, both story arcs and player arcs, collecting every explorer's note, clearing every cave, collecting every artifact, and defeating every boss in my quest to become the ultimate arc survivor. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Three, two, one, go! We're in! Why did we spawn in the snow? You did. I spawned in the redwoods. It said easy. Um. Where am I? Map location is turned off. I have no idea. Oh, look at all this! Um. <coughs> oh. Um. I'm losing like one and a half health per second. It is 43 degrees below zero on the frozen lake. I found Argents. Should I go take a dip in the freezing water? The water's usually more temperate. Let's go. Starting off strong, um, I broke a crate and got a metal pick, metal hatchet, and a crossbow. It spawned me at Vardaland East. I am roughly in the neighborhood of 7040 along the beach there. Where are you at? <clears throat> um, I am opposite end of the island. Nope. I'm on the northwestern side of that same island. Nope. Wow. So I guess spawn regions mean nothing on this map. Apparently. So we're going to have to uh, yeah, work I to mean, get to each other. De bula. I need to find something to kill. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this Dilophosaur. Hang on. Is Bola it? I know it's just a Dilophosaur, but it'll be useful nonetheless. Pull out the club. Ah, eh, compies. I hate... Seriously? How many compies am I going to have to deal with today? I just stay back. No. Just keep... Stay... I'm, I'm juggling between a compy and a Dilophosaur here. This is dumb. This bowl is going to break. This... Ah, come on. Knock out already. Come on. Stay... I... I... Can I just kill this compy? Oh, there goes the Dilophosaur. All right, you get out of here. My club's broken. Get out of here. Nobody likes you anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll chase this Dilophosaur down and hit it from behind. Okay, I need to hit a rock and get some flint to make some arrows. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was that? I'm dead. I, I'm not even gonna try. I'm dead. I got killed by an alpha raptor. Okay, now I'm at 6025. My metal tools are gone, and there's no boats around. Hey, look, mammoths. Hey, I think I found a rune. I found one of 200. Progress. So all my progress of the last five minutes is now completely gone. I gotta start all over again. Oh my goodness, if only I had this stuff to tame you. I just saw a 150 Pteranodon. I have a bed down. So you're saying kill myself and join you? Well, that's up to you. That's okay, I got nothing. What can kill me? Stegos. Stegos can kill me. Hey, Stego. Kill me. 
Hit me! No, don't pin me. That does nothing. There we go. That moment when you're in a survival game and want to die. Uh, can't. I can't access your bed. Are we not in the same tribe? We transferred. Oh, we transferred survivors, but the tribe is safe on the map. Okay, I've got a 140 Pteranodon right here. I've just spoiled some meat. I'll make up some narcotics. I've got arrows made up already. Why are you running? Meanwhile, the thing I was really close to killing, I think, is gone. Like, completely. I was actually gonna do it too. Have a moss chops. Okay, 140. Okay. You have meat, you have some, you have meat, you have some, and you have meat. No. I was thinking, hey, maybe I could just build a canoe instead. A canoe requires the same amount of hide. 75. It just requires less wood. So either way, I'm gonna need some more uh, hide. And the, about the only thing around that I can consistently find to kill is Ichthyornis. Okay. Well, I have one Moss Chops, two Dilophosaurs, And I'm working on taming a Pteranodon. The problem, I have like 58 keratin. Alright, things are looking up. Yeah? What do you got? A crossbow with a bunch of arrows. Now I can go kill these stupid Ichthyornis easy. How many times am I going to barely hit this thing? Oh! Oh, nice shot. I had to steal my Ezzelberries. Wow. Level 140 died in two hits from the crossbow. Yes! 109 hide, baby. I have a raft. I like that. We should use that as the episode name. All right. Mobile base is on its way. You were where exactly? The northwestern edge of that island. Nope. Um, I can walk one of my Dilophosaurus down to the beach, and you'll know when to get off. Okay. Or... Do you know roughly what your coordinates are? Um, it's 70 zero, I think. Passive. All right, that should be good. It's got a little bit of meat in it, so it won't die. I'm using up my spears on this stupid turtle. Apparently I decided to pick on a real, it's a level 120 and it's mate boosted. Unload some stuff. A uh, blueprint for journeyman flak boots and a blueprint for a Mastercraft Capro saddle. Well, I haven't seen a random Dillo on the beach yet. What level are you, turtle? 
Why don't you come out to the beach and help look for me, instead of leaving the Dillo? I'm out on the beach collecting as much metal as I can right now. I've got a forge going, by the way. Smelting metal right now. You can stop anytime you'd like. Did you by any chance pass an orange tree on an island and it was surrounded by parasaurs? Mm, no. Bang, you haven't passed me yet. Assuming. I mean, I don't direction. think I did. Wait a second. I think I see an orange tree out in the distance. It's like on a t teeny tiny little island in a bay surrounded by parasaurs. All right, let me see your map. That's not 60 zero. Oh, you're way out there. I thought I thought I was over here. Am I up here? You might be because I'm like right there and I haven't seen you yet. Right, hold on, take. Why can't I? I can't tell if I'm in the bottom left now or the top right. I didn't realize that section in the top right had been filled in. I think you might be in the top right. That might be your island in the bay with orange trees and parasaurs. Uh, let me go run over there and check. It's right over there. Because I'm pretty sure I'm about to hit the edge of the map. Uh, do you see the giant tree in the skybox? Yes. Where is the giant tree in the skybox? Hold on, take a quick look around. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm looking out over the entire map at that tree. You're looking over open ocean to that tree. Congratulations, you're in the northeast. <laughs> so I sailed in the wrong direction. Wait, I told it to spawn me in the southwest. Why am I all the way up here? This game making no sense. We're just gonna light a campfire right next to the base of a very flammable tree. Oh shoot. That transfer transferred out all my arrows. Hey, remind me... Oh wait, he's not here. Well, you listeners, you remind me to uh, get my arrows back from the smithy. Trust me, it'll work. Didn't I just find a minute ago? Eh, fire's a little warm. Alright, so transfer all of that. We got a lot of flint. I have quite a bit of metal, actually. That's nice. Okay. What do I need to get back out of here? Yes, my arrows. Thank you. Okay. And did I transfer my cooked meat out? I must not have. Alright. Sailing off into the distance once more. So I hope you have narcotics, because I do not have any narcotics. I don't even have a mortar and pestle. What I do have is metal. Actually, quite a bit of metal. That was a jellyfish. And that's a T-Rex. Okay, then. Uh... Moving on. Hey, back when Fjorder was a mod map and we played on it that one time, do you remember that area we spawned at if there were metal rocks nearby? There were, weren't there? Because I'm sailing by that spot. I wanted to say there were metal rocks around. Maybe. Okay, I see the red obelisk and a volcano and some stuff that's on fire from lava. 
Okay, uh, you need some Titan. Oh, I see a tiny island with an orange tree. And there's Electra Forest in the water? Is that Electra Forest? Eels? I think so, yeah. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's like sparking. It doesn't quite look like an eel, though. How close to that island with the orange tree and parasaurs are you? Well, watch for the Dilophosaur. If it's the one, the right one, you're not far. I assume it's the right one. Are you north or south of it? You're north, aren't you? I should be north of that. Wait. I see the shape of a Dilophosaur. Did you put the Dilophosaur, like, in the water? I found it! I'm parked next to Hey Shadow. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait here for you, because I have no idea where- wait. I see flames. I see a base. Door. Ah, I'm in the tribe of in the game guy. We built a very basic homey base. It's very homey. It's cozy. It's small. Cozy means small, right? More or less. Too cold. Um, let me throw some wood in here. Still too cold. Oh wait, it's incubating. Two and a half minutes. And it's got some food. My goodness, did it get a mutation or what? It did. <laughs> well, okay, well, how man. about that? <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what the mutation is. Probably uh, oxygen. Probably a movement speed. Movement speed, oxygen. Uh, it's a food mutation on the lower food stack. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's useless, other than the part where it's purple now. All right, so I'm going to lay down and get off. You can get off whenever you want. Um, I would stay on until, if that thing's already at 3%, I would stay on until it's big enough to eat off the trough. Uh, maybe walk it outside. We don't have cryopods. Lock the door open and walk it outside. That moment when you realize a baby pteranodon can't fit through a door. Okay. Hey! Crisis averted. Well, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we got a lot accomplished <laughs> independently, but... Now we can go on some legitimate adventures with each other. So, uh... Yay, adventuring! That'll, that'll happen in the next episode, I'm sure. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve the series, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.